So this dish right here isn't quite ramen. This is tsukemen, otherwise known as dipping noodles. While they certainly share many similarities to traditional ramen, this dish is distinctly different in that it's prepared, served, and consumed in its own unique way. In short, it's ramen deconstructed, but there are quite a few delicious details that go beyond simply separating the noodles from the broth. And in this video, we'll take an in-depth look at one of Tokyo's most popular spots to experience this delightful dipping delicacy. And we'll highlight what makes it a unique and worthwhile culinary adventure for noodle enthusiasts looking to experience ramen from a different perspective. While there are almost 2,000 restaurants where you can try suke men in Tokyo, Rokurinsha is currently one of the most popular and highly rated. The restaurant has become famous for its ultra-rich soup and extra-thick noodles. And these are the main two distinctions that differentiate this dish from traditional ramen. The soup, while often containing similar components to traditional ramen broth, is served completely separately. It's also generally much more concentrated and robust compared to its standard ramen counterpart. This ensures that the noodles hold enough flavor when dipped, allowing for a full and rich taste experience with each bite. At Rokurinsha, the broth is simmered for around 13 hours using a blend of pork bones, chicken bones, and seafood ingredients, resulting in its renowned rich and deep flavor. The second distinction, being the noodles, also come with their own unique characteristics. Served separately, the noodles generally come out cold or room temperature. Not only does this allow them to retain their toothsome, almost al dente firmness and chewiness, but serving them cooled also creates a wonderful temperature contrast when dipped into the piping hot broth seconds before eating. The increased thickness and surface area also help to hold the soup when dipped, ensuring each bite is coated and packed with the broth's rich flavor. And not only is the act of dipping quite dynamic and downright satisfying, but it also allows for the practical aspects of customizing the flavor intensity to your liking. Whether you prefer a delicate, nuanced bite or crave a complete umami explosion, you can choose exactly how much flavor gets packed into each dip. And now for some practical notes. Rokurinsha currently boasts five locations in Tokyo. The Tokyo Ramen Street Brunch under Tokyo Station is the most centrally accessible, but often has the longest wait times, sometimes up to an hour during peak periods. While a bit further out, the Ueno Station location is my personal favorite as the queue is often much more manageable. Additionally, if you're near Tokyo Skytree, the Tokyo Solomachi location is convenient and may be worth a visit. And lastly, here's some helpful tips for actually dining at the restaurant. The paper aprons they offer are actually quite helpful, as intense dipping and slurping can put your clothes at risk. Secondly, it's advisable to dip and consume the noodles quickly, avoiding having them sit in the broth for too long, as the soup can cool quickly. And finally, a word of warning regarding the noodle size offerings. While the large 400 gram order is tempting being only a few hundred yen extra, I'd only recommend it to the largest and most ambitious of appetites. All in all, Tsukumen is a fresh and delightful take on the traditional and classically delicious ramen. For those eager to explore Japan's rich culinary landscape, these delectably chewy noodles paired with an equally rich broth offer a truly unique and flavorful experience. And that's all for now. Wishing you the best of travels. And until next time, cheers.